I'm Kelly, I'm a coffee addict. And I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm a tattoo addict. Yeah. <laughs> tattoo addict and I love coffee. <laughs> yeah, no, we're living here in Lumsden now, really enjoy it. Great to be out of the rat race of the North Island. Fantastic down here, um, around the snowy mountains, awesome. I'm a tattoo artist from up in uh, Matakana originally. Um, we found this beautiful building here in Lumsden. It's uh, an old Sonic Lodge, uh, happened to be in Arrowtown actually, uh, stumbled across a property press paper. One of them was the Masonic Lodge, fantastic. I thought, where is this place? Walked into the building and thought, well, uh, this is us. I could see the complete vision. This is, this is what we've created. And it's just, uh, it couldn't be a better spot. Coffee roasting was something I always felt passionate about. For me, it was the perfect marriage of my background in science into the coffee roasting. So Steve and I talked about doing it when we first moved down here, but felt that because we were unsure about whether this would be somewhere that we would actually put our roots down, we, we didn't sort of rush into it. So it gave us the opportunity to meet lots of people and sort of understand the area. So after that five years, that's when we sort of decided that I would go away and do a wee bit of research. And um, I just came back just so excited and so full of energy and just thought, we need this, you know, South and needs this. We need our own brand and um, that's how Raw came about. We, um, it's really important, it's, it's part of our sort of ethos to su support local where we can um, buy New Zealand made products. Um, you know, the, the less distance that something has to travel, the better. We're focused mainly on Southland. We can visit our um, customers as often as we need to. That point of contact is important to us, you know, building relationships with people. Yeah, I've always been uh, arty right from school. I think it's just the joy of creating the art and then applying it onto a different medium, i.e. onto someone's skin is quite different to putting it onto a piece of paper or putting it onto a, a wall as a piece of art. So uh, I just love seeing the creation. I love seeing people leave with a smile on their face and having a beautiful piece of art that's on their bodies for the rest of their lives. And you know, off they go. It's a, it's a really rewarding, very rewarding, um, profession to be in. It's quite yeah. a privilege really isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I do feel privileged. It works well, it's busy, everyone says how do you keep busy in Lumsden being a tattoo artist? Well, quite honestly it's, you know, I'm booked for two two months out so it's, uh, they, they come from all over the place, they come from the North Island just for a piece of art so it works good. Location does not mean anything at all, it's great to be in a little town, I, I, obviously you've got lower overheads. You've got um, small town community. Probably most of the people in Lumsden have been tattooed by Steve. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, people will travel. If you're a good good artist or if you're good at any profession you do, people will come and hunt you down, look for you. For us, well for me especially, the, the big move down to Southland was not, not terrifying, but I knew that it was gonna be a big change. I was used to hustle bustle city life, you know. We moved down here with an end sort of date in mind in the sense that we'd give it five years, um, see how we felt about the place. And that five years has already turned into eight and we wouldn't be anywhere else. Southland has grounded me a lot more now. Um, I actually really enjoy my quiet time. You know, I enjoy the dogs down at the river and just hanging out in the sunshine. And yeah, I think we're really lucky to, to actually have that time. Yeah.